Shea Bear 1000 here. Today we're going to be making some bacon and eggs for, well, brunch. <laughs> it's almost lunch time, but it doesn't matter. You can have bacon and eggs whenever you want, right? Stick around and join me for brunch. All right, guys, so, yeah, that's what we're doing. Just kind of thought I'd do something a little different today. Kind of make something to eat real quick and make me and Bruno something for lunch. Well, brunch, whatever. So, there we go. Get you out here. So, we're back here in the shelter. Uh, this shelter's been up since I put it up for my solo backyard campout thing. It's still, it's still holding up fine. This is the bottom of an old tent. This here, it's not a tarp. But it's kind of like the same thing as a tarp, only it's real thick, you know. Doesn't leak. <clears throat> but, uh, I think I'll take it down and do a little bit more work on it. So... But yeah, it's been up here since then, so that's pretty cool. Just waiting on my skillet. You know, you want to get your skillet hot before you put anything in it, so. But, you know, I just wanted to just get something kicking for you. I had to, uh, had to put a set of ball joints in the truck. Now, I didn't film it because I have, I already have a video of the ball joints on the 2003 Toyota Tacoma um, I did the passenger side then but this side the driver side I finally replaced they were getting bad squeaking and very very loose so I replaced them and uh, we're getting ready to do the boat I'm not sure when I doubt if it'll be this week as I think monkey wants to help me so um, it'll be when she's got a couple days off so tomorrow, I don't know if we're going to take the boat out or if we're going to do some fishing. I'd like to do a little fishing tomorrow. Here an animal over here. I can't see it. But, uh, yeah, I'd like to do a little fishing. But anyway, let's get the bacon on here. There we go. I only got five eggs, so I'm gonna have four. I'm gonna give one to Bruno. I usually give him two, but that's okay. We go through, we eat a lot of eggs here. Man, they sprayed for mosquitoes uh, the other night, and they're just horrible. Um, I don't know how they they see that help because I'm telling you, every time they do, for a couple weeks later, it's just like they come out in droves. You know, I mean, it's just they'll carry you away, and it's like ten times worse than before they sprayed. So I don't, I really don't understand how they figure that that works and I know it's always been like that when I lived in Ohio they would spray for a couple weeks and things got worse and what they did was across the road there where all the woods are where the little treehouse is they sprayed in that direction 
and it made them come over here so I, I don't and I don't find any dead mosquitoes around and like I said they are ten times worse after they spray and I don't know if it makes them multiply or what but I'm telling you it's not killing them and it's not driving them away because we see maybe one two mosquitoes and then once they sprayed they're just like right now I mean they're all over me right now uh, they're just bad there's probably seven or eight in here right now trying to bite me and stuff A lot of people, this is controversial, a lot of people like their bacon crispy. Some people call burnt. It's not burnt, it's crispy. I like mine a little on the chewy side. Um, it's got more flavor to me. That's just my opinion, guys, you know. I mean, we're all different. But I just don't like biting into bacon that just kind of crumbles up. And, you know, you pretty much got bake, a mouthful of bacon, bitch. You know what I mean? but to each his own, right? I mean, there's nothing wrong with it if you like it that way. It just, I, I don't prefer it that way. And to me, there's, there's uh, less flavor, you know? So, I didn't bring any oil out. I figure I'll have enough from this bacon to, uh, damn, mosquitoes, I'm getting bit up, to uh, cook the eggs with, so. All right, I'm gonna let this bacon cook. Now I'll get back with you when I'm ready, to, getting ready to put the eggs on. You guys remember that sizzling? It was fake bacon. It actually wasn't even bacon at all, but it was called sizzling. I love that stuff. A little on the pricey side, but I loved it. I'd eat a whole pack myself. I can't find it down here. I don't know if I'm looking in wrong places, but if any of you guys know where I can get it down here in Florida, comment and let me know in the comments below. Wouldn't you know it? I forgot my seasoning. Now I'll get Bruno's on here in a minute. Because I'll chop his up. Big old palmetto bug over here. I hate them things. But we're in Florida, what do you expect, right? <laughs> the deer and squirrel and rabbits are very tiny. The snakes, the bugs, very huge. <laughs> Spiders, very, very huge. Those are about done. I didn't bring any bread out either. <laughs> Always forgetting something, guys. Kind of between over easy and medium. There we go. Yeah. 
Now, let me get you spun around here. We'll chit chat for a minute. And then, I also forgot my mic, so that's why it sounds like I'm on one side, so. Okay guys, so, here's my bakey eggs. Bacon and eggs! I'll probably give Bruno some of this bacon too. But, like I said, I forgot my pepper and salt and, and uh, bread, but even though we're in the backyard, we're just going to deal with it just like as if we hiked out somewhere and forgot it we'd have to deal with it so I'm going to deal with it right here but um my bacon got a little bit crispy for some of you folks but I, I like it to where it's see that part to me is a little too crispy it's like chewing sand but that's okay I got Bruno's egg cooking here I guess I usually make him too, but I may save him a little bit of mine. But yeah, we got the got the truck fixed. Monkey came out with me and sat with me while I did it. And uh, let's see what else. That's pretty much all that's been happening here. Like I said, I I think I'm going to try to go fishing more. I think she wants to go out on the boat. Um, I don't know, we'll just have to see. Um, I know we can do both, but when I'm on the boat, I like to cruise. Go back in little coves and stuff. But, um, when I did my solo, though, I done some fishing from the boat. It turned out pretty good. But, yeah, we need to get it. I gotta get some wire wheels for my drill so we can clean the bottom of it off and we're gonna seal all the rivets and everything up on it it does pretty good I mean um, we had it out last couple times we took it camping well the first time we didn't leave it on the water we had to bring it in but second time we had it when we took it camping Mm. cast iron way to go but we just left it on the water all weekend for three nights and it didn't have enough to pump out so but there are a couple a couple rivets that are leaking I can see them they'll start getting wet they're not like shooting water up in or anything like I said I've never had to use the pump but so we're going to seal the bottom of it. We're going to paint it. It's going to be blue and white again. Only we're going with a uh, sapphire blue. So it'll match. That's kind of what the top is. It's like a sapphire. Which is. It's like a. Um, it's just uh, a sapphire. is just your pretty much common blue. But it's going to look good on that boat. It's just going to be blue and white again. So. But we're going to get it done. But I need couple three days of good weather without rain so and then I'm gonna clear coat it I'll put some clear on it and then it should be good to go but anyway guys I want to say thanks for joining me um, for my brunch I'm gonna finish my brunch take Bruno in his egg he wanted to be out here with me but he kept walking around here <laughs> He likes to roam. He he don't run off anymore. He's done it twice. That's a couple years ago when he was still, you know, pretty much a puppy. But he stays around, but I still like him where I can see him. But he'll go back here and lay down in the shade or something, and then I won't see him. And I'll be looking for him and hollering for him and stuff. So I don't like to keep him tied up if I don't have to. So, but yeah. cast iron way to go but again thanks for joining me for my brunch I hope you all have a great rest of the week monkeys at work today so um, she's off tomorrow so like I said we're gonna we're gonna go do something uh, we haven't been fishing in a while um, so once the boat gets done 
I'm going to do a solo a solo camp out on that little island we showed you guys and uh, but I got to get a got to get a hammock tent for that because I want to be up off the ground just in case uh, I know there's snakes there um, they're not bad but and I know the gators don't go up there very much because it's such a small island that islands maybe as big as a house if that and there's there's nothing there for a gator to eat now when they come out they usually like the sun and it's kind of shaded there and I didn't see any gator slips so uh, where they had been laying up there but if I'm laying in a tent and I got food there or something you know it might it might attract them so I want to kind of get up in the trees a little bit but anyway guys so that's just pretty much it in a nutshell just wanted to bring you guys along with me so that I'm going to say Shea Bear, the myth, the man, legend. I thank you all for watching. Appreciate it. And uh, take a gander at Monkey 1000's channel. Give her a visit. And uh, she's got some good stuff on there. She's got a lot of a lot of girl stuff you girls might enjoy. Um, she does some crafts. She's got quite a playlist, several playlists going. So anyway, Shea Bear, the myth, the man, legend. I'm gone for now. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. We'll see you in the next one. Y'all take care and bye-bye.